Hello everybody, it's me, Diego, and uh, we're back, and so um, this is kind of a test, you know, to see if people like this sort of content, and so today we have, of course, the Avengers Endgame uh, spot that was released with the, the sale of the tickets that went on, and so I have the trailer here, and we're going to watch it, and I'm going to pause it at a bunch of times, I have a bunch of notes right here, we're going to pause it, and I'm going to, you know, break it down uh, piece by piece. Uh, very in depth, uh, just to show you my thoughts, my theories, and just uh, anything, anything of that certain manner. Um, um, my voice is gonna be louder than the trailer. Uh, I'll put it, I'll put the audio on of the trailer, of course, so you'll be able to hear and watch with me. But um, yeah, so let's get right into this. If we do this, we'd be going in shorthanded. Yeah, you mean because it killed all our friends? We owe. All right. So, right here, uh, I wanted to talk about this scene, because this scene uh, looks to be uh, Natasha, Black Widow, uh, in Japan, because uh, if you saw the uh, one of the previous trailers, she's wearing the same jacket, her hair is the same, and um, it's the and it's when she went to go meet uh, uh, Hawkeye, uh, now known as Ronin, uh, in Japan to find him, and so this is the same, same weather. Uh, same clothes, same hair. So I'm wondering, you know, what could be happening on the scene where she's in Japan waiting somewhere? Is this where Ronin has been operating at his, like, new base ever since his family got dusted? You know, we don't really know. But um, it's it's cool to, to, to wonder. But, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that and, you know, um, um, show off this because I haven't seen a lot of people talk about that. Well, anyway, let's continue. This to everyone who's not in this room. All right, so this is Captain America right after he's shaven off his beard. Uh, of course, you can tell because you know he doesn't have his beard anymore. And he's in the bathroom, so he probably just shaved it off. So um, we don't know when this could happen uh, in the movie because this could be at the very beginning. It could be you know closer to the middle. We don't know, um, but this probably be probably will be a, a significant like character moment for Cap in the movie. Because, you know, he had this beard for Infinity War and it was to help him have his identity. Now that he's shaven, he can, uh, he is fully taking the mantle of Cap. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and keep going. Try. Okay, so this is them, Natasha, once again, flying into Japan to go meet, uh, uh, Hawkeye. Um, we don't know if there is anybody else with her on this jet. We've only seen Natasha. So there could be more people going uh, with her, but just as of right now, we only know that Natasha is going to find Hawkeye, and this is her flying into, into Japan on a Quinjet of some sort. But um, yeah. Anyway, it's not about her. All right, hang on one second. But um, this trailer has so much. This is Nebula and Rocket sitting down. Um. What is really sad about this moment is if you if you really think about it, Rocket does not know uh, that the Guardian, all of the Guardians died except for him. Um, so this is most likely the scene of Nebula telling Rocket, you know, everyone's dead. And that's why you can see they're really somber and sad. And um, so this will probably be a, a very uh, heartfelt moment and it's going to be very sad. And um, yeah, this is this is going to hurt like heck. Um, but let's keep going. How much we lost. It's about... So I saw, um, some other videos saying that this could be Tony leaving again. I did not really like, didn't think that, didn't believe that. I think this is, uh, just as what it seems it is, Tony finally landing back on Earth and, um, coming, coming to see, uh, you know, Pepper and, and finally coming home, um, from space after almost dying uh, you can see um in tony's face that he's very you know sickly he probably hasn't had a lot of food in a long time not a lot of water and so yeah this is their uh, heartfelt reunion all right let's keep going how much we have left all right, all right. this is um a really really good look at um tony's new armor uh, i don't know exactly which mark it is but uh this is based off his uh, classic version of the suit, um, the first one, like in the comics. Uh, you can see, like it has the the gold around it. Um, 
the gold on the arms, the gold on the legs, and then, of course, the, the pointy uh, face uh, mask. Um, obviously, you know, an homage to the original one. And it was so cool is that you even have, like, the muscle parts like it does in the in the comics, in the old comics. And you can see the, the defined muscles, which I, of course, I really love. Also, I was watching a, a, another breakdown, and I said that this could possibly be uh, from when they go back in time or to another dimension or, or, or whatever. And this is to revisit the, um, the Battle of New York from the first Avengers movie, which is a very cool idea. Um, uh, this is... This is gonna be yeah. Anyway, I love I love this armor a lot. This has probably been my favorite armor so far, uh, in any of the movies because I, I really like this. All right, let's keep going. We're the Avengers. We gotta finish this. All right. So this is the money maker shot right here. This is um. This is the full Avengers team. Finally, you know, we got you know, uh. Clint right here, Hawkeye. You got a uh, War Machine, Tony. Uh, you have uh, Captain America, Nebula, Rocket, uh, Ant Man, Natasha, and um, I'm guessing they're all looking at you know Captain Marvel. Uh, I would guess, but it also could be uh, Thanos surviving at the Avengers facility. But more more likely than not, uh, they're looking at Captain Marvel. So, but this will be our main team of Avengers for this movie, which is um. Which is really cool. You trust me. I do. So that scene right there, I'm gonna I'm gonna scoot scooch back a little. This scene, I think this is fake. One hundred percent I think this is fake. I think Chris Evans in this scene right here is CGI, and that is not really what's happening in this scene at all. I think, and I saw this somewhere else, I, I think it was a, a, a comic book cast too that pointed this out, but I think this is from when Tony goes back, when they time travel back to the uh, events of um, the first Avengers in the Battle of New York, and we're going to go to uh, recruit um, the uh, younger Captain America, and I think they are G CGI replacing the other Captain America with this one, um, but yeah. I think this scene is completely fake, and um, let's go scoot up a little bit. This right here, I saw this, and um, again, uh, this is I saw this in Emergency Awesome's video. This right here does not match with any of a uh, Captain America's previous um, uh, suits. Uh, I I thought it did because it looks like the red and white, but um, it could very well be um. Ant Man, because we did see from um, photo leaks uh, from scenes from um, behind the scenes stuff, and when they were shooting, that uh, that uh, Ant Man was with uh, Tony when they re when they go back in time to uh, the uh, original battle. So this could very well be Iron Man shaking an Ant Man tan, because also you have this silver belt like Ant Man does. Um, it's an interesting theory. We'll see what happens in the movie. Um, this still could be completely fake. We don't know. Um, but anyway, let's continue. Oh, sorry. I missed that right there. That. Um, I wanted to point out, I haven't seen a lot of people, but that, this planet right here, that's not Earth. Um, this could be after they... Uh, fought Thanos, you know, once. Um, we don't know what the outcome of that first battle would be, but I think like, that's after their first battle with Thanos, once they go directly to him, and that's him flying away. Because um, this is, just from the hue of this planet, this is not Earth. Uh, it's, it's very clear to tell. And also, the other surrounding planets um, are not, you know, Earth. Uh, not in our solar system, so I definitely think this is not Earth. This is a different planet they are leaving after they have fought in Thanos, won or lost. We don't know. Um, this is the uh, team in um, uh, the guard the Guardians' old ship after they uh, when they go directly to fight Thanos. You have Captain Marvel right here, Natasha, 
uh, War Machine, Thor, Cap, and uh, Rocket, of course. And they are in the, the Milano, I think that's what it's called. Not sure. Um. <laughs> Ugh. Man, this hurts. Real sad. Um, this is obviously a picture of um, Tony Stark and Peter Parker. Um, but what's interesting about this, and I haven't really heard anybody else talk about, is that we have not seen this happen at all. And so it makes me wonder, you know, what was the time length of, like, how long, how much time has passed between Homecoming, when we uh, last saw Spider-Man 2, Infinity War. We don't know how much time is in between that and where that would put uh, Peter in Far From Home. Will he be in junior year or, or senior year? I am inclined to believe that Far From Home will be in his senior year because of just how, how much time has taken between Homecoming and Far From Home with both Infinity War and Game both taking place during that time. And we don't know how much time is in between all of those. So um, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I know it's not directly uh, Endgame related, but and it's far from home, but it's still interesting to think about. So let's keep going. You could not live with your own failure. So let's go back. That is um, them going to Thanos' ships. We don't know what part of the movie this is. I just thought that that is Thanos' ship from the, um, from, you know, the previous movie. Uh, also, uh, I'm inclined to believe that this is, again, not, this may be Earth, because it kind of, this kind of looks like India, right here, but it also could not be. So we don't know if this is Thanos coming to Earth and, you know, smacking us up, or something else. Um, but this is definitely interesting to to look at and, and, and think, you know, what could be happening. So this scene right here, um, I thought was very interesting. The first time I saw it is that this is um, Thanos' hut from the end of Endgame, his uh, little farmer hut when on Titan 2. Um, so Thor is there, obviously. We don't know what could be happening there. Uh, possibly, they're probably fighting. He could have killed Thanos or something happened. Um, but he looked very shocked at what he's seeing in Thanos' hut, so we have no idea what could be happening. What did that bring you? Back to me. And of course, we have our first look, uh, uh, official first look of Thanos in Endgame. Of course, he has his um, uh, armor from uh, Infinity War flashbacks. Um, what's interesting, I, and I heard this from someone else, I'm pretty sure, again, it was Comic Book Cast, uh, that they said that he could be wearing his armor because of how damaged the infinite he was after the after Infinity War. And um, that the Infinity Shows might not be as powerful as they were after the snap, so that he would still have to wear armor and that sort of thing uh, when, you know, uh, happened to fight the Avengers. Uh, I'd also like to point out that this is on Earth. Definitely on Earth when he is attacking the um when he is attacking the uh, Avengers facility. So that's just um, a little side note. And uh, again, we're here. This is a good look. At, another good, great look at um, Iron Man's new armor. Also, the destruction of the Avengers facility. Um, and this will probably be where a big, big battle will happen. After event, after Thanos comes and whoops everybody's butts, and it's it's definitely we're, we're ready to see what happens. And the original three Avengers, you got Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor walking up to a defeated Thanos or arresting Thanos. Something happens. They must uh, this must be the end of that fight. Um, Thanos might have a trick up his sleeve, but we also get to see the Infinity Blade. Right here, and it's looking pretty sick, must I say. Um, so, yeah. Tickets on sale now. But, um, so yeah, that was my, uh, that's my thing on the, uh, uh Avengers Endgame, uh, trailer spot. This is, I saw another one, um, it had some different things, but it's mostly the same. Um, this will, this will probably be our, our last, like, good look at new stuff before Endgame comes out, you know, because it comes out this, uh, 
this this month in a few weeks. Uh, I'll so I hope you liked this video. This is definitely new. This is definitely not what I usually post on this channel. Um, if you do like it, I will. I'm really considering creating a new channel. You know, for my love of movies and, the, and that sort of thing. And so, but yeah, please like and comment if you do like this sort of thing. I'll definitely do a breakdown of Endgame once that comes out. And instead of seeing it, I've seen it opening day because that's what you gotta do. Um, I'll come home. I'll come home and you know start writing up my um my my breakdown, spoiler and non spoilery. I'm seeing it multiple times. It's um this is definitely a movie for the edges. But anyway. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell to get notifications of future future uh, video game content and also hopefully movies if you if you like that sort of thing. But um, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, bye.